pay worldwide remote job hunters this is ryan from remote money you're looking for work anywhere in the world you're probably in africa europe the u.s canada south america china wherever you may be india i'm gonna help you tailor your resume to get remote jobs and therefore get remote money all right so we're looking at this website called resume.io and this is like a free resume builder it's really good because it puts all the puzzle pieces together for you um, it's kind of like uh, you can build your resume piece by piece by inputting either templated information and then tailoring it tailoring the text and the content to your specific background and experience all right so however you get the job just get it all right i'm not condoning lying on your resume or anything like that but you want to embellish you want to make your you want to sell yourself you want to make yourself be in the best light put your best foot forward and show the potential employers hiring managers that you're the best candidate for the job okay so don't be afraid to borrow content that you find online all right so look right here it's very hard it's hard to get a good job right only 2% of resumes even make it past the first round. Be in the top 2% and then be in top the top 1% that actually gets the interview and then the job. All right. So we're going to help you. Use professional field tested resume templates that follow the exact resume rules employers look for. Okay. So this is a North American style. I know some resumes in other countries, you got to attach your picture, right? There are tons of templates. Look, here's one with a picture right here. Um, so this uh, is resume.io. What you want to do is you have to log in and, and sign in. So once you get past that, create your resume. Okay, click that create my resume button. You want to look for a template that is professional, not too fancy. This one has on the left probably has too much bold and black text and the photo in the top left. Like in North America, in the US, that's not red. I know it says Toronto, but that's probably not the standard right now right a lot of employers are still corporate and uh, conservative this one's pretty cool this template here on the right um, the monochrome Amsterdam one is pretty cool um, London is pretty good here at the top right okay so let's try this template what you want to have is oh I'm over the resume limit okay so I just want to show this to you quickly here it is here's the resume you can tailor it to a job listing, you can edit it, and you can download it. So you have to pay to download, all right? I'll, fair, I'll give you a fair warning, but it's only like $3, okay? Um, you can edit this one and put in your personal information. So your job title, let's say it's business development, right? And your name is John J. that's your email. Your country, uh, you can put that in, whatever you want. And you have your professional summary. Okay, you're an experienced and results-oriented store manager. This, so these are pre-written phases, phrases. Excuse me. Uh, there are some popular ones. Personal, trustworthy, account executive. Whatever your experience is, it's tailoring it to business management right now because that's just the template that it's in. Okay. And then here are all the, the uh, texts that you can put in. Now, what if you wanted to make it a little bit better, right? Let's say you don't like this sort of thing. And let's say I have background experience working at BMW um, in retail sales, selling cars. Okay, so we're going to go to chat GPT. You're going to log in, chat.openai.com, and you're going to put in the prompt, write me a resume for a job in business development right um, at let's say it's at Shopify to work remotely in sales um, with the following 
skills, and experience. Okay? And then you're going to put the semicolon there. And then you're going to put all of that content that's already there. Or you're going to say, maybe for you it's not over 10 years. Maybe it's over 5 years of experience helping clients to meet and exceed business goals while selling cars at BMW in, I don't know, um, Los Angeles. Okay. And then let's see what chat GPT comes with, comes up with. It's pretty quick. I guess not today. It's actually pretty slow today. Let's try this again. Hold up. Hey, so it freezes sometimes, okay? Sometimes it freezes. So we're going to try it again. Same thing. And boom, there it is. So you're just going to fill in the blanks. That's all you have to do. And then you're going to copy it and paste it into Word, a Word document. Your name, your contact info, your LinkedIn profile, objective, results-driven, business development, professional, with proven track record of exceeding sales targets, driving re yeah, revenue growth. Boom. And then you're going to take this, okay, business development consultant, BMW, Los Angeles, California, start date, end date. Follow this exact same format. You can copy and paste the same thing, references available upon request right back into a resume editor or into um, Word, okay? So again, this one, this template, you have to do it piece by piece, right? You see like everything is kind of separated. My point is there are two ways to do it. You can use this, this template here that you can download, right? Copy and paste it into Word from here on resume.io. Or you can just ask ChatGPT to write it, copy and paste it right into a Word document. All right. So writing a resume, it's not easy, but it's very quick. It's very simple. You could even ask ChatGPT, write me a cover letter for this opportunity. And then you can even go over to... Um, a, an actual sales job, right? Let's actually find a sales development representative job at Envision, for example. This is a remote opportunity at Envision. I'm not featuring it today, but it's a North America based sales development role. And you can take, literally, copy and paste this, what you'll do and what you'll bring. So, copy and paste this. Take this, copy this. Go back over to ChatGPT, all right? It already wrote you your cover letter. Read, you can ask it to rewrite my cover letter and tailor it to this job description because that's what they want, right? That's what the employers want. Tailor it to this job description. It's already doing it. Also, tailor it to my resume. Maybe you already have a resume. Everybody already has a resume. So you can even copy and paste your own resume into this, and it'll tailor it for you in seconds. All right? And that's all it takes. That's all it is. That's how you write a resume. Look at this. Right? Dear recipient's name. you got to fill in the blank, right? Like, it's not going to do everything for you. Right? But, you know... Now, because you initially said business development position at Shopify, you have to rewrite it for actually Envision. So you have to tell it that sales development. But the point is, we took the text from here, from this job description, and let's pretend Envision was actually Shopify. And ChatGPT actually wrote it for you based on the content in that job description. All right, And it wrote it for you like, I'm excited to apply for the business development position opportunity to work with the freehand team. 
So that's from InVision, right? Not Shopify. So you're just changing content around. You actually got to do some brain work and do some editing yourself, right? My work ethic is second to none and I consistently strive to exceed expectations, blah, blah, blah. It actually sounds like a hiring manager might want to read this, right? So that's it. That's how you build a resume. You can use, do one of two ways. Go to resume.io and use their template, make it all pretty, right? Or you can go over to chat GPT, paste in some information, some data, and then copy and paste the results. That's it. Good luck. God bless. Get money. Thanks for watching.